Hello there, how are we doing? Uh, so I thought I'd take you on a little walk today uh, just round the west coast and, and show you that living on a little island like this it's not all about the sunny weather, is it? Because I don't know if you can see, but I've got my uh, rolly up here and I'm just sort of walking down my road where I live and I'm just going to show you just this area, but also I have a little speak to you about the maybe the plus and minuses of living on an island. Um, obviously, a big plus is that you know I always go on about it's really nice to have the beaches and stuff like that. But what about when you haven't got the beaches? What about when you got a day like this? It's pretty miserable. It's miserable or you could reframe it that it's actually just a really nice day and it is what it is and you're just going to embrace the weather and just go for a nice walk. I mean, this isn't bad behind me. This is, um, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon and I've just got a little gap. So I thought I'd take you along and show you around here. And also, you know, it's, People will say to me, you are lucky, and I know I'm very lucky, but I think it's like anywhere, when you holiday somewhere and when you live somewhere, it's two different things. And it's the same old story that no matter where you live, I think if it's miserable and rainy, it never looks as nice, does it? But this is the uh, West Coast. We've got some nice houses behind me. See those behind me there? One of those is for certain, in fact, that one directly behind me. Uh, the one just to my left there, yeah. That's for sale. It's not for... It's not for one point something million. It's been for sale for a long time and I don't really know. Well, my views on it is it's a lot of money to spend if you're, because the other side of those houses is the road. And I just think like, if you're gonna spend that sort of money, you may, want, may not wanna be on the main road, I suppose. But yeah, there's some surfers behind me, can you see? Nice little surfers. Yes. People are saying to me, why, have you, why do you use a brolly? Because um, they blow inside out. Well, I've got a good brolly. I bought it off Amazon. And um, I didn't know they did them. It's like a golf room brolly and it's got all vents in it. So like little, air, like little vents all around the top. So if the wind gets underneath it, instead of blowing your brolly inside out, it actually goes through the vents and doesn't blow it inside out, which is quite nice. Yes, it's pretty miserable. It's not very warm. I'm in my shorts, but um, it's not too cold, actually. It's actually quite mild. Let me just show you the surfers over here. So this is a little path which I walk along quite often. If you've watched my videos before, you definitely would have seen me walking along here. Uh, if you are sort of familiar with Guernsey, it's by Portsmouth Bay. I'll be heading to Portsmouth Bay. But great weather for surfers. Not so much for walk, nice for walking. Most people I notice don't wear brolly, uh, don't have brollies because they just say it annoys them, they blow inside out, but not with my special brolly, it doesn't. I'll show you, look. Can you see those, like, those vents? Can you see the vents? That black little ridge. That's a little flap. So, I'll be able to try that out in the wind. I think this island comes to life in the sun. It just completely transforms it. Um, a sunny day feels nothing like today. You know, everyone's on the beaches, everyone's out and about. It turns into that sunshine island everyone always talks about. And you know, if you're on a holiday and you don't get nice weather here, you probably don't see the best of the island. I don't think anyway. It's still beautiful. It's still a nice place to live. I saw, um, I watched his channel the other day. 
and this guy on YouTube and this guy was showing him around where he lives. He lives in, in Wales somewhere and he walked outside his house and he was filming it, he like did a video on it and it was just like, there was rubbish everywhere. There was um, like junk and piles of all around his house, like a washing machine. There's like just the council or whoever looks after it all just was not doing a lot, tidying up. Well, whether they should be or not, I don't know. I mean, the people that live around there aren't helping because there's dumping rubbish everywhere. There's graffiti, everything's overgrown. It was all like, and I just thought, <laughs> I can never moan. I walk out my front door and I've got this, you know, I've got this. So if you ever hear me moan about where I live, leave a comment and say, shut up, Ross. <laughs> I'm sure you would. So just over there, that little beach there, that's Port Swath. Then uh, we've got the little cafe or the kiosk there in the middle of the screen. Then just following it round. And this is where all the surfers are, just here. Some big waves coming in. This beach here is porting for bay, but it's not one that's... Get, you, know, you don't see a lot of people at this bay because it's all stony. Yeah, some nice waves coming in there. A few people walking their dogs. <laughs> I do like weather like this because it's quite rare we don't get any wind in Guernsey. And um, I think that dog's barking up my brolly. <laughs> it's quite rare we don't get much wind. <coughs> so on a day like this, it's, really, it's actually really nice. I quite enjoy walking in the rain. Lily's at home, I'm gonna take Lily out later. Cause I always find doing these videos with Lily can be a bit, you can't really concentrate too much. You gotta keep an eye on her. Yeah, these waves are looking, it's weird cause it, uh, there's obviously no wind, well, not much wind. Yeah, there's huge breakers coming in. You get that quite often. But you can see around here, it's lovely, lovely for the dog. Yeah, those waves are big. Bit of a closer up view, look. Definitely surfers out there. I'll be interested. Let me know your thoughts on this, where I live. Could you live here? Most people say they would love to live here, but I do come across the odd people that just say it's too quiet and they couldn't live on an island and all the rest of it. Um, but as I say, you know me by now if you watch the channel, I haven't really got a bad word to say about it. Well, I have sometimes, if you ever watch my taxi videos. <laughs> I was on a bit of a rant, but yeah. It's, 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 it's quiet, don't get me wrong. It is quiet here. It's certainly not a city. Oh, getting wet foot. But, you know, you live around here. Look at it. Wet foot again. I say this isn't one of most, my, probably my most exciting videos, but I quite like this, just going for a walk. I think this is really real life. And anyone who's, you know, thinking what it's like, this is real life. Exactly like it is. <laughs> just passed a woman, she said, my dog's got a thing about your brolly. She was barking at it. The dog was barking at my brolly. Yeah, but as I was saying, you know, this is real life. Um, and I think a lot of videos on YouTube now are so highly edited and highly polished that you're losing reality of what it's actually like somewhere. I think like you cannot beat doing a video like this. If you're thinking about what, where somewhere's like, this is it. It's not edited, I don't edit. I very rarely edit anything really, unless I accidentally swear, which very rarely, or I think something's not great, but I just keep it all in. There's a big puddle here. 
things like this, see? I could edit that bit out, but why? Poddles are real, everyone has poddles. My brolly is good. 20 quid, it was 20 quid. Do you think that was too much for a brolly? Let me know in the comments, have I gone mad? It's good quality though. I could have spent a tanner and had to buy another one in three months time. I'm hoping this is gonna last, so. Value for money. Oh, that's a big puddle. Hello, all right. Not one person I've walked past has had a brolly. I am definitely the odd one out. I'm said that I have got my camera, so I don't want to get it wet. Or my phone, should I say? Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my little walk along. I say it's more of a little vlog, um, but. I quite like doing these videos now and again. Uh, any comments, let me know as usual. Fa um, thank you for watching, by the way. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. It's all about Guernsey. Remember to give it a thumbs up if you like my little walk round. Um, I'm going back to uh, back home now, back to work. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. See you later.